Oh, yeah, starting another one right outside my apartment, but I'm outside. See, I'm not upstairs. So Andrew's just pulling up now. Yes, going up with Crafty Chronicles, Lake of the Woods. Here we go. Well, I'm out here on Lake of the Woods, and uh, we, it, I don't know, it's like somewhere around, I don't know, 10 o'clock at night. We just got out here. We just set up in a sleeper house. Hey, how's that? Wow, that's bright. You can see it is pitch black out here. So we're going to be spending tonight and tomorrow night out here on Lake of the Woods. Night bite here is pretty, pretty slim. We could get a burbot. You know, I can only hope. New adventure. It's been a while since I've been up the Lake of the Woods and did any sort of ice fishing. I'm here with uh, Crafty, Crafty Chronicles, Andrew Craft. Me and him, brothers, man. We're like brothers. We do, we, uh, we just, I love fishing with the guy. We just like fishing with each other. So we do a lot of shit together. That's how it is sometimes. Anyway, this light is bothering me. I think we're gonna get the heat fired up in the house. We got everything all, it's almost bedtime. But I'm gonna set up for bourbon. Visor season. <laughs> you thought you were gonna get that. It's been a hot minute, but we got the heat on, got some lines down. Lake of the Woods is notorious for no bites at night, but once in a while you get a straggler to come through. All the heavy duty jigging action is gonna happen in the morning and throughout the day. So I will see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. It's, uh, let me take a look here, 8.23 a.m. And uh, we've gotten a jumbo perch so far. Got a lot of lookers. So, it's action. And we're ice fishing. That's all that matters to me right now. Oh, beautiful one. Came in hot. <laughs> What's up, little dude? Cute little guy. But it's action, nonetheless. Things are happening. Starting to run into some nicer fish. Filling up the bucket. This is a nice mark. Deucer pull, please. It's a better fish. It's a nice sog. <laughs> Barely got him too, dude. I believe that I've caught the flu. Wow. Saturday night. How about <coughs> good morning, I made it. Sunday morning. Yesterday was rough. I don't know, I'm feeling better. What do you think I had, dude? Some stomach bug. Something that passed through quick. Maybe. Hopefully. Yeah. So um, we're fishing here till about noonish or so. We catch this last morning bite. I had to pack it up early last night. I was in rough shape. I don't know. Shit happens. bit of the cat out of the bag so to speak right mr crafty yeah i think i'm gonna switch up to some panfish gear yeah like a five millimeter tungsten and a plastic so right now we're just getting some lookers but no takers they could be big perch 
They just aren't ready for the whole snack, you know what I'm saying? So, most of the trip I've been using the, the Fast Draw by 2B in a slender spoon. Spooning a minnow head or, you know, saving my tail ends and using the tail, it doesn't really matter. But having some meat on there. But last night or yesterday, I did catch some fish <coughs> on a panfish jig. And I guess if I was to add, give out any tip for Lake of the Woods is always bring a panfish rod and some panfish jigs. Because sometimes that works. It does. And it's super fun. So I'm going to switch switch over to some panfish stuff and see if we can get some of these lookers to become takers. <coughs> so talking about panfish gear, like I said, something simple like that. I just got a little four or five millimeter tungsten jig. Uh, three pound test and a little p3 plastic on there it worked last night it worked yesterday yeah so we're gonna get this sucker down in there i'm running this one on a soft touch get them baby got a fish them like bluegills here you go Judging by the thickness of this line, this could be. He likes his chocolate chip cookies better than mine. I'm just gonna let it sit. Canadian Eagle. Watch your bobbers. Watch your bobbers. No guys. taker on the panfish setup. So I fart. <laughs> I think I just had a white fish fall on me. Don't bring those up here. Stinky bastards. Here. Here. Alright, there we go. The old panfish jig. Let's see what we got. It's not very big. Let's see what we got. Whoa. Look at this. Freak. He just coughed up a bunch of minnows too. Huge! Well, this is it. Sunday, just around noon. Had a great time. It was really cool to sleep and, uh, well, fish and hang out and live and sleep in a sleeper house. I, you know, I don't get to do that very often. The sound that you're hearing right there is Crafty's truck running. We've got just about everything packed up and uh, we're gonna get the wheelhouse up, get it hooked up and head for land. I don't know, man, super weird weekend. Uh, had a great time Friday. Friday night was great. Saturday was good until about three o'clock and then I don't know man. I hit some sort of bug and I got sicker than hell <sighs> I, And I didn't have much hope for this morning, but woke up this morning. I felt a little better Stomach still kind of messed up But uh, was able to catch a few more fish and yeah, we didn't get any giants or anything like that But we got some action and it's always fun to come to a different place other than just fish in Bemidji Which fish in Bemidji is great, but it's just nice to get out of town and do something a little bit different so uh, I hope you guys uh, have an awesome week. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I gotta think of something. Like I said, fishing's still a little tough around the Bemidji area. So we're going to manage. You know what? I don't know if I've said this on this channel or not, but I have a podcast. It's called The Lone Angler. You can find it on iTunes and Google Play, Podbean, just about anywhere you can find podcasts. I'm not on Spotify yet, but hopefully going to get there soon. But, uh, yeah, to get you through the work week, you can listen to The Lone Angler. It's always a good time. So, thank you very much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. I can't talk this morning. Um, that would help me out a lot. And that way you don't have to uh, miss out on anything. And you don't have to type anything in the search bar. And uh, that's about it. That's about all I got. Like I said, I hope you guys have a kick-ass week. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. That was terrible. Bye.